that we celebrate the second Sunday of Easter, and it's usually called Divine Mercy Sunday. Let us start our Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, recognizing our sinners before the Lord, and let us ask Him for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, our sure hope, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, our peaceful guardian, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, our source of joy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Word of the Lord. Thanks. 
letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy gave us a new birth and a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you who by the power of God are safeguarded through faith to a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the final time. In this you rejoice, although now, for a little while, you may have to suffer through various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that is perishable even though tested by fire, may prove to be for praise, glory, and honor at the re revelation of Jesus Christ. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him now, yet believe in him, you rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy as you attain the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and he stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written, that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So they devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of the bread, and to the prayers. You know, the great thing about the Bible readings for, the, for this season of Easter, it is that we are learning about the early church, how they went about being uh, the first members of the body of Christ. We found four things. They, uh, they, they listened to the teaching of the apostles. They did charitable works, like sharing their own possessions, faithfulness to the celebration of the Mass, and praying with persistence and with faith. These expressions of faith actually model for us the way we're supposed to be acting right now. And how appropriate is for us to, read, uh, to listen to these scriptures. So we know what, what our task is. We're called to listen to the voice of God, to the teaching of the apostles, handed on to us by the magisterium of the church. 
We're called to take care of the poor. We're called to share our possessions. We're called to share what we have. We're called to celebrate with fidelity the Mass. And we are, we're called to prayer unceasingly. These expressions of faith to which we are called were unable to be fulfilled by one of the apostles, Thomas. That takes the center part of today's gospel. He was looking and demanding signs in order for him to believe. And not any signs, concrete ones. Unless I put my hand inside of the hands, then I will not believe. You know, he was actually demanding these concrete signs for him to believe. We don't have that privilege. But still, we believe. As we view the Eucharist raised up for us at Mass, we proclaim the words of St. Thomas, my Lord and my God. Many times, each one of us have made this proclamation in silence, as we see the consecrated host being elevated by the priest. Today we celebrate the Divine Mercy Sunday, as was designated by Pope St. John Paul the Great. His great and unconditional mercy compels us to cry out, my Lord and my God. We pray this day for the increase of faith. What does this mean? This means a belief that God will crash this evil virus and all these consequences, including the inability to receive sacramental absolution, which is the perfect manifestation of the mercy of God. As we continue, celebrating the divine mercy of Jesus today, let us ask the Lord to make us great believers and that for the sake of his sorrowful passion, he may have mercy on us and on the whole world. Now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made. Consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified in the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Casting doubt aside, we praise our Lord and God and humbly ask for the answer to our prayers 
and thus of the whole world. For the Church, stronghold of trust in the everlasting mercy of God, that the gift of faith be generously shared with all who search for it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who answer the call to a life of civic service, that they may be ever mindful of the sanctity of all life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the wounded, the sorrowing, the hopeless, that they know God's mercy through the community's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters who have died, that God raise them up on the last day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all assembled here to celebrate Christ's victory, that faith light our lives and the lives of those we love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy and loving God, you raise your son from death into the tomb in the tomb. Hear us and give answer through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore this year we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a twofold, so that there may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and into willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How do we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit? Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The, confirmation key, the confirmation word for our kids of confirmation is going to be mercy. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Glorifying the Lord through your lives. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.